Back at it again, back at it again. Can't stop, won't stop. Zone 9 life. Hey, thanks again for tuning in with your boy, man. Coach J, Motivated Moments. Stay tuned, let me show you what I have up my sleeves today. Appreciate y'all. Let's get it. All right, Lawn Locos. Uh, before I show you what I got up my sleeves today, let's just take a, a quick lap. Let's just take a quick lap. Okay, here's my, my low cut section. Okay, last time, last couple times it wasn't cut. Because remember, I cut this section low and I, I cut it like every third time because I cut it real low because it stays uh, wet and moist back here. And if I keep it tall back here and step on it, it'll mat it down to the ground and kill it. Or if I walk on it and mat it down, I need to come back and either either blow it up or rake it so it'll stand back up. But this is my low cut area. Okay, now it gets higher and higher and higher. Go show you the main state. Uh, yes, time to change the direction. I'm starting to go north and south, but you won't see it until after the second or third cut after I burn it in. I haven't cut diagonal in like the last few times. But I tell you, man, that big league strip is something else, man. Okay, I haven't done this this angle either. Okay, remember, I started going east to west, the new pattern. And now I'm starting to introduce north to south. But that big league stripper almost has all directions burnt in. Okay, I'm just going to walk this chump in real quick, real quick. But she's doing what it does, man. Okay. Uh, today I got a... Today I'm going to go and try to get rid of a lot of my liquid stuff. And it's also... It's getting hot. Soil temps are... Soil temps are pumping up. Okay, so it's time for me to start pumping some fight. Some fight. Okay, I still got a little... Okay, disease pressure right here in that area. Okay, you can't see it from afar. But, you know, to the naked eye, but to the trained eye, you can see it. And like I say, for the person that takes care of it and cuts it, I can notice. But you see, from afar, you, you can't tell anything's in there. But I walk it and cut it often, and I know, I can see. So let's go back in here in this area that I showed you before. Okay? But I have to get, get closer in there for you to see it. You see it? You see it? You see it, some of that disease pressure. There's a good one right there, see that? Okay, a little melting out, a little rust or something, but it's clearing up slowly but surely. But like I say, guys, I have to stay on it. Imagine if I haven't done any treatments the past couple weeks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it'll get away from me and get out of control. Okay, let's just walk this chumpy. I don't even do, haven't even done the diagonals in so long, but they're still burnt in, man. Shout out big, the big leg stripper. <laughs> Actually, it's the big long striper, but I call it the big leg stripper. Where your dollars at? Where your dollars at? She's a big leg stripper. Where the dollars at? <laughs> Where the dollars at? See, I'm not even cutting diagonal anymore. I'm going east to west and north to south. You can barely see them because I'm gonna have to burn them in. I only did it once. But there's the yard, guys. There's the yard. She's doing well. Okay, beginning of April. Soil temps are already flirting with 76, 79. Like, yeah, man, my, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man, but zone nine life. Okay, zone nine life, man, out here putting in that work. Okay, let me show you guys. I'm going to put it in the tank today, man. This is, a, this is a foliar love week. Okay, foliar, foliar, foliar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm putting the tank to uh, put on the foliage this week. All right, hey man, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Thumbs up, man. Hit that, hit that thumb, man. It ain't gonna hurt nobody just to hit that little thumb. If you don't like it, shoot thumb down. I mean, that's fine. Just interact with the video is all I ask. If you don't like it, thumb down. Okay. If not, thumbs up. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Drop me a comment, man. Does anyone know anyone with a cool season yard in Florida or a cool season yard in a warm, humid, arid region? Let me know, man. Please let me know. 
Appreciate y'all. All right, Long Locos. All right, Long Locos. Hey, man, appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Okay? Really do appreciate y'all. Uh, hey, man, take the time to thumbs up, man. Just just hit that thumb for you, bro, for your boy, man. Man, look out for you, brother, man. Just hit that thumb, man. If you don't like it, just thumb down. Shoot, you don't like it? You suck. Go ahead, thumb down. That's fine. Just interact with the video. That's all I ask. Okay? All right, guys. It's your boy, man, Coach J. True Long Loco. Back at this thing. Back at this thing. Okay? Uh, for those of you that don't know, okay, uh, your boy has a, a fescue yard in Florida. Okay? A cool season yard in a warm season zone. Okay? Uh, not not a professional, guys. I'm just a DIY guy. You know, full disclosure, I'm just a, you know, regular old plumber Joe, <laughs> if you will. But I, I just like a nice yard. You know, I, I really enjoy my zen time in the yard, and I like a nice yard. And I'm just giving you my point of view and my strategies of what I do to try to maintain a, a fescue yard in Florida. Okay, so my strategies, tips, or what have you may be different than yours. The timing of, you know, my applications may be different from yours due to my growing zone and the type of uh, cultivars and grass type that I have. Okay. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, you know, every week I try to alternate my feedings, you know, soil love, foliar love, soil love. And I haven't given you beneficial love yet. But, but I also got beneficial love in the mix. I got bad love. Like, you know what I mean? Coach J, man, I don't give number love, man. You know what I mean? Number love, man. Number love. Okay? Now, this week is... Foley, lee, 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 Foley, lee, 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 Okay? Now, this week, guys, everything I'm putting down is uh, foliar emphasis. Meaning, I want everything to dry on the grass blade. Or I want everything to be soaked up into the plant through the grass blades. And then what so happened to, to not get absorbed through the plant tissue and everything? It'll just get watered in when I either irrigate or rain. Okay, we're expecting uh, rain uh, this weekend. So I'll just spray and just wait for the rain. Okay, I try my best to use Mother Nature. But with fescue in Florida, sometimes I'm, I'm like, buck, Mother Nature, I need some water. <laughs> and I'll just pull out my phone <laughs> and cut the water on. Because I have fescue in Florida, guys. I'm true long local. The boy crazy. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the boy crazy. Okay. All right. Now, first things first, we'll go ahead and start out with what I have. For those of you that haven't seen it, I have a DIY video of how I... Uh, how I uh, make this concoction, okay? And all it is is a uh, homemade version or, you know, makeshift version of a root growth stimulant, okay? Same active ingredients. I have uh, humic, I have fulvic, and I have kelp, okay? All in this, in this uh, jug. And, mind you, this kelp that I have in here, from shout out kelp for less, shout out kelp for less, is a zero zero tent okay I have used a uh, a kelp product that was zero zero seventeen before in my last my last um, concentrate jug and I also have more of the zero uh, zero seventeen kelp in the garage that I just found the other day digging through the stash digging through the stash <laughs> okay but this is just a makeshift version version excuse me of uh, RGS guys okay a root growth stimulant and I go down with this every week guys every week whether it's soil love or foliar love okay this product goes down every week okay now another product that I put down every week regardless whether it's soil love or foliar love okay and it's a it's a kelp for less product and a lot of those kelp for less products can be hydroponics soil or soilless meaning soy love foliar or hydroponics even okay now this is one of my favorites guys you you know you've seen it if you've been following along but this is my silica powder man okay silica powder doesn't hurt that it has zero zero it has a five five percent potassium in it 
and that last number of potassium helps with the overall strength and stress and tolerance, stress tolerance, uh, strengthen up the plant tissue, cell walls, roots, everything. The overall health of the plant, okay, is strengthened by that last number of potassium, okay? And the silica, okay, the silica is a product that strengthens up the plant tissues, the cell walls, okay, the crown, just, it just strengthens up the plants, okay? Got to have silica, guys. If you don't have, you need to incorporate silica into your feeds, guys. It's a must-have for me, and I put it down weekly. I'm almost time, almost time for another one. This one might last me another, shoot, another three, three months even. <laughs> this stuff really lasts, guys. Stop paying for water, man. Stop paying for water. Now, I'm going, I got some products that I did pay for water, but I need to get rid of those. But that's that silica powder, guys. Strengthen up your plant tissue. Strengthen up your plant tissue, okay? Now, while I'm on plant tissue, I'm going down with my monopotassium phosphate. You know, kelp for less, water soluble, okay? This is a 05234, okay? Now, the reason why I'm using this is, okay, uh, for those of you that don't know, I put down, I have a couple soil love versions, but I put down some mycorrhizal fungi that, that'll, well, that'll attach or high feed to the root zone of the plant. Okay, so what I want is with this second number of this this uh, phosphorus, I want to exaggerate or accelerate that root activity. Okay, that second level, or excuse me, second number, it's all about the roots. Okay, all about the roots. Okay, and I'm trying to accelerate that root activity. Okay, and then this last number, which is the potassium. Like I just explained in that silica, that just helps the overall health and overall strength of the plant, okay? And I use that last number for stress tolerance mainly. Even though I was, I was low on potassium in my, on my soil test, I still like to incorporate that because it builds up the overall health of the plant, okay? Second number is the roots. First number, nitrogen, focuses on shoot growth. And I do have some nitrogen-ish this week. Okay, now since I'm uh, talking about potassium, no, I'm gonna say that for last since this is a new product. Okay, uh, now what I'm going down with, guys, is uh, one of my products that I paid for water. I won't do it again. Okay, this is a Nutriscape. I get it from Turf Grass Pro or the Turf Supply Pro, the professionals. Okay, this is basically what the uh, professionals use. This is a 1200, guys, Nutriscape, okay? Nutriscape is 12% urea, meaning I'm gonna get that quick, quick pow, pow, bang, 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 bang from that nitrogen. And this is the first time you've ever seen me uh, put down something like this. If, well, for those, of you, for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know I've used this before. But I mean, as a, as a recent and as of late, I've been using more of the kelp for less stuff. But I do have a lot of liquids in here that I need to start using to get rid of. And this is one of them. Nutriscape product, 12% urea, okay? 6% iron, but it's water soluble. So going down foliarly, try to soak up as much as I can, you know, through the leaf blades, if it will. It's not chelated, it's water soluble, okay? So, you know, who knows how much I'll actually get out of that. Uh, and I have uh, manganese, okay? I was low in manganese in my soil test as well. Okay, but all this has is 12% urea, iron, manganese, okay? And that's it, okay? That's it, but mainly I'm using it to get rid of it, but looking for that little, little shot of nitrogen to help push this grass so I can keep chopping off the top of this, you know, this, this fungal activity. And guys, uh, uh, tip, if you do have fungus, fungus or fungal activity, make sure you're bagging, okay? And I, I do bag, I just wanna push this growth so I can chop and bag up some of those uh, those blades and lesions, but it's but it's it's dissipating. SAT word for students who are watching. <laughs> Slowly but surely, uh, it's going away, dissipating. Okay, Nutriscape. All right, Nutriscape. Oh, that stuff's heavy too. Man. I need to use the heck out of that. I need to use the heck out of that. Uh, also, I'm going down with. I've been seeing you know bug activity, moths, ants, you know, whatever. But all the topical. Uh, spiders, all the topical insects in the yard. I'm gonna go down and take care of that with this bifin. It's bifinthrin. 
This is also a product that's in that duo side as well. That duo side, that double kill that I use uh, from Anderson's for uh, for a grub activity. It's a grub curative, meaning a grub kill, but it also has the bifenthrin in it to take care of all of the, what did I say last time? All of the insects from thatching up, thatch above, and then the carabelle takes care of all the insects thatching down, if you will, soil stuff, okay? But this is just bifenthrin. It's also in that double kill as well. Bifenthrin, let's take care of some of these insects and ants and things that I've been seeing. You don't want them to tear up your yard before you start using this stuff, guys, okay? Rotate your insecticides. Rotate your fungicides. Rotate your herbicides. Cannot stress it enough, okay? You do not want these things to build up a tolerance to your chemicals. Rotate, 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 okay? Now, the newcomer, okay? That's why I, I switched it up and saved this for last. But the newcomer that I'm putting in the tank this week, it's it's... Not a newcomer to not a newcomer to my uh, fertilization program, but this is the first time I've used this this season. Okay, now the reason why is because I'm I'm experiencing disease pressure. My soil temps are getting up there; it's getting hot, uh, and and I'm trying to build up a tolerance. Okay, to to all those stresses. Okay, disease, fungus, whatever heat. Okay, this is what I call fight. Okay, I don't call it what they call it that, but instead of P-H-I-T-E, I call it F-I-G-H-T, fight. The key word is fight. This 0026, okay, also is an unknown group 33 unknown fungicide as well. And I also use this for my foliar fungicide rotation. Because remember I said for the next few treatments, I'm going down with foliar versions. You remember when I went down with that chlorothalonil two weeks ago with that last foliar love. Now this time, I'm going to go down with a different fungicide, Unknown 33, with that fight. Because guys, I'm trying to fight, fight, fight. And you go, you notice that last number again? That last number, the overall health of the plant. So I'm trying to build up the strength and the health of my grass plant before summer gets here, guys. I'm trying to fight this disease and heat pressure now. Keyword is fight, guys. And it preferably foliarly, guys. This prefers to go down foliarly. You can spread, put it for soil love if you like, but I only use this fight foliarly because I wanted to get on those uh, leaf blades to help fight back some of that fungus on those leaf blades. And yes, I will bag, bag, bag when I cut. I already cut the grass. Uh, I did it yesterday because I want to come out and spray today. But this product, 0026, guys, fight. And for those of you that don't know, this is also a fungicide as well. Or well, people use this as a fungicide. Uh, unknown, group 33 fungicide, this fight. Okay? Keep this in your rotation too, guys. This, this helps out a lot. Okay? I'm trying to fight this disease pressure, this heat pressure and build up the tolerance, okay? Build up my stress tolerance of my grass plant now. Now, I think heavy too, man, <laughs> before summer. <laughs> so that's, you know, these, for y'all that, that have these uh, two and a half gallons, man, these things are pretty pretty doggone heavy, about eight to 10 pounds. I'm just holding in the air. Sure, I need to work out anyway. I've been slipping, I've been slipping. Okay, now to top it all off, man, cause, uh, because I want this stuff to stick to the grass blade. I hear doggies. Hey, doggies. Hey, neighbor. Yeah, look at it. You see those huskies, guys? Yeah, some beautiful dogs, man. The brown cinnamon looking husky. I don't know if y'all see it. Oh, y'all see it? You see it? You see it? Oh, she has a beautiful dog. It's like a cinnamon husky. Oh, that thing. I love, I love her dog. But anyway, I'm sorry. I told y'all I got ADHD. I get distracted. But I, I love her dog. That's the neighbor. Uh, yucca, guys. Now, for those of you that don't know, yucca is an all-natural, organic, wetting agent, surfactant, and water penetrant all in one. So if I wanted to put it down for soil love, I can water it in the soil, and it'll help break down the soil and loosen it and open it up so things can penetrate the soil. But also, if I want to use 
foliar lee, 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 a foliar version or a foliar spray. This can also be used as a surfactant to help it stick and spread and be absorbed by the grass plant. Okay, all natural. It's yucca, guys. Okay, it's a, it's a. I guess it's a vegetable or fruit. I don't know. What is yucca? It looks like a potato. I know that, and it tastes good. Especially when I was in South Florida or oh, Quick Storm, man. Them, they cut up them yucas. Shout out my Latinas, man. Man, l much love, man. But when I was in South Florida, man, them chokers put that little yucca with that little little sugar, a little cinnamon, a little butter on that mala mala. Y'all, guys, this yucca some good ish too, man. Y'all need to eat this ish too. <laughs> but yucca some good stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell Big Mom, man, go get some yucca so we can put that thing with some butter and cinnamon on that monster. Mm. Lumptious. Mmm, muy delicioso. Si, si, si. Ah, lo siento. Okay, but anyway, yucca, guys, all natural, wedding agent, surfactant, water penetrant. I'm sorry, guys, man. Coach a little different, man. Yeah, I'm I'm really cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, <laughs> for those that know me. The boy is, he's a little off. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. But uh, I'm different, man. I'm not trying to be like anyone else out here, even though I'm doing the same damn thing that everybody else is doing. But this version is coming from your boy, man. Coach J, a true lawn loco. You know what I mean? I got to be different, man. I got to do my own thing. I'm not trying to be like anyone else, even though everyone else is doing the same damn thing. I'm not like anyone else, man. First of all, I have a cool season yard in Florida, and I still haven't seen anyone give me a, a whim or, hey, I know such and such over in yada, yada, yada has a cool season yard in a warm season zone. I don't know anyone else that's doing it, man. True law and local, okay? But I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, man, and tell everybody. <laughs> All right. Until next time, God bless. Peace.